Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not an expert, do your own research. Today I'm just going to review uh, Bitcoin and a few altcoins. I know things are really rough right now, but um, let's just get to it, I guess. Here's Bitcoin uh, USD on the daily uh what's going on with bitcoin i'm gonna clean up this chart a little bit okay so it's just pure price action um what did we see so i think for the first time we saw bitcoin recently print a higher high and a higher low therefore a bullish market structure technically speaking however i have a few concerns with that and when i say bullish market structure what does that mean that means higher highs and higher lows uh on the one day so and it, market structure can be whatever you can do it on the 15 minute you can do it on the weekly whatever um what i mean by higher highs and higher lows is that usually that is what confirms a trend so when you look back here in june here was a high and here was a low what do we see back later on in july a lower high than the one established back in june and thus a lower low bearish market structure and this bearish structure has actually been seen uh, earlier than that. You actually saw like, you know, high established here back in April and a low. And then you saw like um, lower high, lower low. But again, that's not really like, uh, this is like, I, I wouldn't consider this a high. That's not a high. Um, you would just consider this right here a low, probably right here. Um, one nice video or one nice comment about crypto cred is, is one thing that always stuck with me before is that highs and lows stick out to you on the chart. Um, you know, it's pretty clear overall, like what a high and what a low is like this area right here is probably not a high. This right here is a high and it just takes some practice in terms of like seeing what the reactions are. Um, but regardless, market structure is such that you can denote the highs and the lows. So for many months now, we've been in a bearish market structure where we've seen, um, you know, lower highs and lower lows. You can see that price continued to go lower overall. And we kept seeing these uh, pokes down at the support levels, you know, from 55K to 50K to 48K. Um, prices kept going lower and we kept having lower highs. However, um, recently we hit a higher low right here and we also had a higher high because this right here was the recent high that was um established back in late august and we hit a higher high above that so technically speaking this would be a bullish market structure because we now have for the first time in many months a higher high with that said this actually is still fairly scary to me because this is not a clear higher high this is just like a like, it almost looks like a deviation um this wasn't a situation where like price clearly broke above this 65k level what i really wanted to see was like clear established move up to like 70k that to me would be a clear higher high whereas you know this type of price action um just looked more like a deviation and it wasn't really very convincing so now what am i looking at even though i technically still believe it is a bullish market structure on the one day i think it's important to zoom out and still just take a look at the overall chart and the context which means that i believe that we're still in this overall range i don't know what you wanted to note it as maybe like this right here um where price is still within this uh, 73K to like 53K area. You can call it 50K. I don't know. It depends on what you want to denote as the range low. Some people might denote it all the way down to the wick. I personally like doing it where um, it's been tapped a few times. There's a little bit more confluence. And um, personally, I still believe that we're just in this gigantic range. There's been no real conclusive move and no real clear trend. Uh, sure, we've had some nice moves up like this move right here. We've had some nice moves uh, like right here. We've had some nice moves back in July. 
but they've all gotten sold off. You know, the subsequent price action was pretty strong selling for the most part uh, following these rallies. We haven't had a sustained move um, since uh, back in February and March. We don't really know what's going to happen. So that's what's kind of been happening the last several months where we see a rally like this and then it just promptly gets sold back. Another rally gets sold down. Sold down. And we keep hitting lower lows too uh, every single time. So every single one is just lower lows and these rallies are not sustained. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's really no conclusive um, thing that we can take away from this price action, in my opinion, on uh, lower time frames. Uh, I do believe that you know things do look pretty good, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to see some sort of something like I don't know, like maybe another. Um, we hit a lower, uh, another higher low. We grind back up, and then like we chop around, and sometime in October, November, we hit some sort of multi-week chop fest for Bitcoin, and then we full send. Um, in December, January, that would make a lot more sense to me. Uh, I do believe we're going to continue having some consolidation for altcoins. Um, for Bitcoin, I don't think it's just like you instantly take it off. You know, you don't just rocket ship out of here. Given this overall price action, this is not the environment. Um, so yeah, as I said, I, I don't really have any conclusive thoughts on Bitcoin. I think that like we're still okay. We're still within this overall trading range, but I don't believe it's a situation where like you have to max long like anywhere. Um, this isn't really the environment. Selling's still pretty strong. There's some war stuff going on uh, with Israel right now and Iran and things. Have, Bitcoin has yet to find a bottom overall. Now, let's take a look here at like from a TA standpoint of like potential trades you can take. We are close to the 200 day EMA, but I wouldn't really put much significance into that. Price has already interacted all with the 200 day EMA all throughout this level. 200 day EMA reactions are much better when there's a gap between price and the EMA indicator. Whereas you saw back here in early July where price, um, you know, traded below it and then had a pretty nice reaction up there from this 50K or region all the way up to 70K or 53K up to 70K. Um, this type of price interaction is not the same as that because price has already interacted so much. The 200 day EMA in this case is not, um, it's not very significant. So I, I wouldn't really call it like a must buy situation. I will say from an EMA observation that for the first time in many, many months, um, we have seen lots and lots of compression uh, for this price and EMAs. The last time that we saw um, this much compression was back in October of 2023, uh, back at 26K and before everything like full on sent and went pretty strong. Um, it's crazy that it's been like pretty much nearly a year at this point uh, at that um, to where prices, you know, skyrocketed. But I think contextually speaking, you can't compare 60K prices to 25K prices. It's just not, it's not the same. Um, you can't say it's similar in terms of the overall compression between price and EMAs uh, from now to that point. But I mean, where price was back then and where price is now, it's very, very different. Like, you know, if you zoom out and you look at the weekly, um, you still saw lots of compression back in, you know, September 23, like all throughout that move. Price on the weekly is still pretty, um, it's still pretty, pretty loose on the uh, weekly charts. So, you know, and also like this big area here is still a big supply zone. Uh, we haven't seen a true break from this level. And this level got established back in 2021, three years ago, like over three years ago uh, from that first rally from 10 to 60K. We haven't seen a move past it. In a lot of ways, I actually think that this kind of price uh, region really kind of reminds me of this, uh, I think was it 12K area uh, back in, 2018, this was January 2018, uh, price could not break that region for literally years. It took nearly, you know, a thousand days to break it. Uh, so 
again, we're already past that right now, like between from, you know, established back in February 21, all the way to uh, September, October 24. Um, but even if you, you know, take kind of these initial wicks here from 2021, yes, you know, that 60K region has been busted all the way up to 75K, but we haven't really seen a true, true move um, to truly break that region, um, you know, since really ever. We haven't seen, we haven't seen like true continuation where price goes up to that 100K level that we've all been talking about. We haven't got, even gotten close. So, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how long it's going to take. I still believe that, you know, 100K is going to happen. But this price action is pretty confusing overall. And I, I don't really see much conclusion from it. Um, ETH, I think, still thinks looks freaking terrible. Uh, this is just a really ugly chart. I, I don't really know um, what to say about it. I mean, like, ETH has barely made any money this year, which is absolutely insane to think about. As I said, uh, from the Bitcoin chart, like, if you look, let's see, back in you know, uh, January of 21, or I'm sorry, January of 24, it was right on the 40K mark and, you know, pretty significant gains. ETH, on the other hand, has really lagged quite a bit. I don't know when this is actually going to start moving. I don't know if the regime is just over and ETH is just like really struggling to find a narrative. I absolutely have no clue. Um, I don't think ETH outperforms Bitcoin for a little while. Um, and you can look at the ETH BTC chart as well for that too. But I just, this chart is just really ugly. Uh, I don't know where the bottom is for it. Could be back at this 2K level again. But honestly, there's so many more coins to buy other than ETH. It's about to interact again with the 200 week EMA, which was last touched in October of 23. And... Um, yeah, ETH is just really struggling right now. I, I I don't know what I don't know what to say about it other than just I I probably wouldn't buy it at all, which is kind of sad because in the past ETH used to be very consensus with regards to like, oh like ETH always outperforms Bitcoin in the bull market and this case it just hasn't. Um, I don't know if it's just because, you know, boomers just like Bitcoin and ETH is just you know there's so many other coins out there now. But it's really hard to say. Um, I guess let's take a look at a few altcoins. I will look at Fetch. Fetch AI, I think, still looks pretty good. I mean, it had a pretty strong rally. I actually still believe that dips are for buying, if I'm being honest. But, you know, things do look kind of ugly in the short term. Don't know where exactly. I, I thought that this area would be an interesting area. But, of course, Bitcoin looks like shit. So you can probably lower the targets from, like, you know, 127 to 116 price should find a bottom around that time period or that area. I mean, that time period. Uh, 127 looks pretty good, though. 0.5 Fib and uh, this demand zone here. So would look at an entry around there around this like kind of 127 region and it's kind of close to there now. Uh, still bullish on AI coins. Take a look at Tau. Tau is another coin where I actually want a uh, entry. Um, I want an entry right around this one, this four sixty five area. I know my alerts are kind of covering it up too, but um, this is an area I had marked for a long time. This four sixty five region. So probably gonna throw some orders down there and see if anything, you know, catches. Um, it is kind of a knife catch, though, given the overall market environment. So, like, 420 is probably actually a better uh, area to bid. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, I guess let's just take a look and see what the reactions are. I, I, it's really going to be dependent on Bitcoin, though. Like, Bitcoin, altcoins don't move until Bitcoin finds a bottom. And in terms of Bitcoin finding a bottom, um, Bitcoin, where I was looking... Bitcoin could find a bottom is probably this 59k area um, supply zone right here. So just a little bit farther to go, um, which means that Tau probably goes to 420 or something like that. So maybe I'll just bid that area. But this 59k area to like 
58k area uh, is is an area that I think Bitcoin probably has some support. So, um, Tau Fetch. What are some other ones that I wanted to look at? Uh, I wanted to look at one coin that I think still looks pretty good is Popcat. I think this coin is going to break like the dollar area significantly. I don't know when. And if Bitcoin shits the bed, then obviously it's not going to. But it still looks incredibly strong. And I'm still of the opinion that cats catch up to dogs a little bit this cycle. Don't know what it's going to look like or anything like that. But uh, yeah. Okay, so I did those two. Um, pretty interested in a lot of these coins, to be frank and honest with you. But really not really just blind bidding. People are shilling the APT a lot lately. And the chart actually looks very strong amidst all this volatility. So would consider bidding this as well as uh, sticks. Sticks. Stacks, I'm sorry, not sticks. Stacks is another coin that looks really fantastic on the daily. I think that this is just in an accumulation zone between 125 to 2. And if you just scale anywhere in between here, um, I think you're going to make a lot of money within the next six months or something like that. Uh, wouldn't at all be surprised to see this go and go up to three bucks or something uh, or higher, just break all time highs and double from here. So, um, very interested in stacks. APT, pretty good trade, I think, in the short term. Still also interested in something like Popcat. Popcat. Don't have any positions in any of these, but just very interested. Uh, anyways, I'll probably do a altcoin video in a week or two or something where I just review lots of alts. So, should be good for there. Anyways, thanks so much, guys, for the support and cheers.